Hi everyone, this is going to be episode 2 of the Fixing SAS4 series, uh, which by the way I've changed the name of it because I want to expand this to be more about general changes along with bug fixes. Bug fixes are going to be like the main focus of it because <laughs> as I mentioned there's a lot of them. Um, but uh, anyways, this episode is going to be about skill points. Uh, there are only a few of them that are like specifically issues with the skill points themselves. Uh, there are a few others that are uh, involve skill points but aren't necessarily like directly because of the points themselves and how they work. So I'll talk about those in a different video. And another thing I want to mention is that all of the info about these bugs and also my massive document of every bug that I'm going to be talking about uh, will be in the description, so go check those out if you want uh, more precise information. Uh, anyways, on to the first glitch. The first glitch I want to show off relating to skill points is one with adrenaline. And uh, this is kind of a helpful exploit, so a lot of you might get angry at me for showing this off, but it's a bug that needs to be addressed. So uh, basically, adrenaline gives you over twice as much extra fire rate as it should, uh, <laughs> which makes it very powerful. Um, I'll get into the math and explain how it works in a second, but first I want to show a demonstration to show like, what happens. So this is me just draining the clip of a Ronson WP flamethrower with no adrenaline up. And as you see in a second, it takes a, almost 11 seconds to drain. Um, so at 25 points in adrenaline, you get 53.8% extra fire rate. So you would expect it to take about 7.13 seconds. Uh, but here's how long it actually takes with adrenaline up. five seconds, <laughs> a bit over five seconds to drain the clip, uh, which is a little faster than the seven seconds that we were expecting. Um, so I won't really get into how this works uh, talking because it's a very long-winded explanation. Uh, I'll throw up an explanation here for anyone who's curious about how the math works, but basically instead of increasing your shots per second by 53.8%, it decreases the time between attacks by 53.8%, which sounds very similar, but results in adrenaline giving you around 116% extra attack speed instead of 54% like it should. And as you can see here, if we do the math, assuming that adrenaline is broken like we think it is, we get about five seconds for the clip drain time. Uh, so that's mathematical proof that that is how it works. The next bug is actually another one with adrenaline, and it is that the red glow that goes around your character when you have it active can sometimes desync from your character. Uh, it happens most often when you really quickly like switch directions while running and shooting. Uh, you see right here, uh, the red glow is looking to the left, but I am looking to the right. Uh, pretty simple, moving on to the next one. The next bug is with the heavy skill concussion. And the bug is that when enemies are stunned by its effects, damage over time stops working on them. So credit to Papa Bear for recording these clips. As you can see, he is using a Black Hicks S300 to kill a Savage Necrosis. Uh, on the top, he's using an Assault, which obviously has no concussion. And as you see, the Necrosis is just about dead already. While on the bottom, he's using a Heavy with Max Concussion to keep the Necrosis permanently stunned. And it still has over half of its health remaining. Uh, so the purpose of this test was to control for just the variable of being stunned. So there's no killing spree, no hold the line, no anything like that to like make a difference in the damages. Um, the only difference is whether it's stunned or not. And on the top, uh, as you see, it took 232 bullets to kill, while on the bottom it is going to end up taking 536 bullets, which is significantly more which again is because the necrosis is permanently stunned and therefore not taking any of the damage over time that the S300 should be doing on it. Uh, another thing to note about this is that any uh, damage over time things that are applied to an enemy when it gets stunned will be removed. So if an enemy has dot ticking away at it and then it gets stunned for like half a second and then unstunned, uh, that damage over time will be removed. So, 
Uh, yeah, concussion, uh, don't get it, it's very bad. Uh, anyways, moving on to the next bug. The next bug is actually one that two skill points have pretty much the same issue. Uh, the skill points are Killing Spree, which you see me showing off here, and Bad Blood, which I will demonstrate in a minute. And the issue is that the little skulls that they uh, appear, uh, those trigger when you walk over Acid Blood dropped by enemies with that effect. Um, so you'll see here in a minute, I'm going to go down here, and you also saw earlier... Uh, when I was between the two nests, I was killing things, there was acid, I was walking over it, and the acid was just kind of triggering. Uh, you also see here I'm walking over some spitter acid, and it's not triggering from that. Um, so it is only with acid blood. Uh, yeah, here we go, a bunch of bloaters with acid blood. Uh, so I'm walking over them, killing spree skulls are appearing for, like, no reason. Those are supposed to only appear when you uh, kill an enemy. Uh, you also see here... Uh, just there it stopped appearing uh, so walking over the puddles does not like reset the timer for killing spree since you have to like keep killing things for I believe it's four seconds at uh, 25 points otherwise it runs out so that doesn't refresh the timer it just kind of displays the skulls and here we are now my medic you see there's a bit of acid blood there uh, I'm walking over it and the bad blood skulls are triggering uh, for the record, this is not a very high-level character. I just made a new one to demonstrate it. <laughs> uh, I'm not crazy enough to like reset my level 100 medic to get bad blood just to show this off. Um, and again, in a second, you'll see a spitter up there. He's going to spit some acid. And if I walk over that, it does not show the bad blood skulls. Um, so this leads me to believe that this is an issue with uh, CQC. Like, I believe it's in, like, chest plate masteries and collections, uh, but, like, enemies will touch you, and you will do some damage to them. It's kind of the same effect that Bad Blood does. Uh, again, here you see me walking over some acid, skulls appear. Um, so I believe the issue is that CQC is triggering when you walk over acid uh, from acid blood enemies. Because the game thinks like, oh, this is something attacking you, and it tries to like do that effect. And I assume it's something similar for Killing Spree. Uh, anyways, on to the next bug. Uh, this next one's pretty simple. It's with the Assault Skill Gun Mod Expert. Uh, it basically just shows this garbled text about AUG XP plus Augmentation XP bonus total percent. Um, I assume this is because uh, Augment Rewards which are a thing on uh, Flash Sass 4, were going to be added with the Nightmare update, uh, and Gun Mod Expert is intended to, like, give you a boost in, like, the rewards that you get, or, like, how fast you get them. Um, but Ninja Kiwi just didn't end up adding that with the update and didn't notice that uh, that text was still displayed. Uh, so pretty simple, just visual glitch. Um... Anyways, on to the, I believe, final bug. And for the final bug, uh, I am now on the Steam version. Uh, this is a Steam exclusive thing where if you do not, you pretty much you can activate uh, abilities even if you have no points in them. Uh, so as you see, I'm on an Assault. This is kind of a low-level guy. Um, as you see down here, I have no points in Assault Team, but if I press 3, uh, it triggers the Assault Team go, go, go thing, and my energy is also significantly drained. Um, it, it doesn't actually activate the ability, as you see, I don't have like the guys around me, um, so it just, it just does the dialogue and drains your energy. Um, I guess it doesn't work for the knife, which makes sense. Um, but it works for, uh, I believe, all of the other ones, including Biocleanse Bomb, Die Another Day, Zombie Antidote, and Aerial Bombardment. Um, and I assume it would happen for Adrenaline Med Kit and Hold the Line, but uh, those, like, even if you reset your skill points, you're still stuck with one, so that's kind of whatever. 
Uh, anyways, that's about it for all of the glitches, I guess. Now, before the video ends, I want to address two things that people are probably screaming in the comments about, which are deadly force and critical shot. Uh, you're probably saying, like, what about deadly force? What about critical shot? Aren't they bug too? Don't they only stack with base damage? Why aren't you talking about them? Uh, so, deadly force, it is true, it only stacks with base damage. Uh, deadly force sucks, don't get it. Uh, but that issue is more with the augment deadly than with any one thing, like the deadly force skill, smart target, titan helmet, all that. So I'm going to be talking about that when I get into the items and augment section of this series. Uh, and then critical shot. Oh my god, critical shot is a complicated monster of a problem. Um, I won't get into it here. Uh, it will be getting its own dedicated video, which will kind of lead into a more broad discussion of game balancing. Um, but for now, all you need to know is that Critical Shot does stack with more than just base damage, but it still sucks, so don't get it. Uh, if you want more information, look at the description of my final video with the Hornet video, which should be linked in the description of this video. Um, so all that being said, thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed. Uh, stay tuned for more episodes of this series and more whatever else I decide to put out. And see you in the next one.